Hello, welcome back to another video on my channel. It is my first ever piece of FC25 content that isn't two weeks after the new game comes out. So we today are going to be analysing the brand new icons and heroes that EA have announced. There is 13 brand new heroes, including Yaya Torre, which is not really a new hero. So we've got technically 12. And then obviously eight brand new icons. So I hope you're going to enjoy today's video. Drop a like, drop a comment if you are new to this channel and obviously uh, if you are a returning uh, viewer, please show some love. I hope you're doing very well as well. But um, yeah, my first piece of FC25 content, let's get into it. So we are going to be mixing it up a little bit. Um, basically, I've con consumed, I've searched for every single brand new hero and icon and it's basically done it in random order, I presume. So whatever comes next is when we'll be reviewing it. So first up... We've got a new German striker hero icon by the name of Celia Sasic. Now looking at her, five foot nine, uh, three star, four star. So three stars are a bit iffy. What we've got to realise is we've not all got ninety nine rated cards. Not everybody's going to have five star, five star, four star, four star. So we've got to be aware of this one. Now, if I'm being honest, looking at this card straight off the bat. Now, just as a heads up, these aren't like the pre order heroes you would get. So there is some different ratings. Um, so like the hazard is like an 86 when you you know if you do pack him but i think these are like in packs for when the you know the packs are when, when everyone's on the game basically so we've got celia sasic and now the one thing that does strike me out with this one is 74 agility 73 balance five foot nine bit of a low end on pace so straight away you're gonna need to have a hunter on that uh lady brings it up to 90 pace um, it looks all right. I mean, it looks like a card that's probably going to be close to maybe 40 to 50k at the start. No one's really going to use her. But I guess I guess it's a start, right? It doesn't look too bad. Now, we have got a returning player from a couple of years ago, Marek Hamšík. I remember using this card. Was it FIFA 19 or 20? It might even be earlier than that, if I'm being honest. And it was like my midfield three of Hamšić, Bonaventura, I believe, and Hernanes. If you remember Hernanes, uh, I'll probably show you with a card uh, here. It was a Brazilian... Lazio centre mid, he was incredible. The whole midfield three. That was back when Serie A was overpowered. Um, Hamšík, I'm so happy he's back. He was really good uh, when he was a goal card. I think he was an 85, I think. But anyway, four star, five stars. Unreal for that card at the start of the game. Uh, power shot plus. Like I said, we don't know how the meta's going to work out. So who knows? Um... Good pace, really good pace on a on a on a on a basic. Oh no, sorry, that was on the catalyst. Sorry, I'm I'm being stupid here. So this is requiring a shadow. These are what they're suggesting. Cam and centre mid, centre mid, obviously get yeah, us instant full chemistry. No matter what sort of team you don't want to be using, um, with an agility of seventy eight, it's a bit low. So I know that one's really a shadow, but I'm probably gonna go with an engine on that one. I mean, no. Not sure how I really think of this one. The only thing I think that EA have released him. I don't know anything about him. You might be able to enlighten me in the comments, but it, it just feels like EA have brought this card out to get more chemistry for Saudi players because obviously Saudi have bought a few more players during the transfer market. It, it looks okay. Uh, 64 defending, 80 physical, 80 pace is very lacking. I mean, I don't know what they're going to... They're, they're asking for a shadow. I think the defending is that low. A shadow doesn't cut it really. Yeah, I, I don't know with that one. That, that's an interesting one on that one. But going to this one, Blaze Matuida. His goal card was insane back in the day. I absolutely love this card. So it'd be nice to, uh, excuse me, rekindle the fire with this card, as it were. Going to be expensive, though, with that lead one. Uh, Uber Eats. Uh, well, I don't know, actually. Now that Mbappe's buggered off to Real Madrid, I actually don't know with this card. I think he's still going to be overpowered. He's going to be like that Kante of old, of old I think. Three star, three star. Uh, Hero, French. Five foot eleven with ping pass plus. Uh looks like a really nice card. Right, going into our first icon, it's gave us our doodle crop. It's gave us none other than Gareth Bale. Now, Gareth Bale looks legit just cracked. Um it's asking for an engine. 
I, I kind of agree with Easy SPC. This is where we're getting all the player ratings for. If you want to go to Easy SPC, uh, that does show you uh, all the new player ratings and player database. We got 99 pace, 93 dribbling with an engine. If I take off engine, we'll see what he gets uh, without the boosts. Right wing, striker, left wing, right mid. Left striker for me, older. Really, really nice card. That's going to be like... 2 million coins. Maybe even more. Depends on the meta. We don't know the meta yet. Who, who knows? But... Warwick cars. Returning uh, player from last year, I believe. Gianluigi Buffon. What a player. What a player of the footballing game. Six foot four. He's going to be phenomenal, I think. I think EA will really will juice up goalkeepers this year. Six foot four. Like, it's just an icon. That is a guy who deserves iconic status. So there's nothing more to be said on that card. Hopefully he's really good this year in game. But yeah, Buffon. There's nothing else to be said. Unbelievable. Now, this is one of my personals that I hope is going to be... Well, I say it's going to be cheapish, but I, I'm looking at those stats now. And I'm probably not going to be like that. Five foot ten, finesse shot plus... Average and lean body type as well. Four star, four star with striker, left wing and left mid. That's a phenomenal card for the start of the game. That's going to be like a million coins, that I feel. Okay, agility and balance. Good reactions, great composure, good ball control. Fantastic shooting statistics as well. With really good stamina and strength as well. Marionette Pichon. Not really so sure on this card. Four star, four star is really good. Uh, can only play a striker, which is an interesting one. Five foot four as well. French icon. This this card sort of reminds me of like a papping. Like he looks good, she looks good. But is anyone really going to use her? Right, a brand new, well, oh, they're all brand new. What am I on about, Josh? Lillian Saram. This one I'm excited for. Can play right back and centre back. So if you've got like a meta, meta like couple of centre backs. Starting a free back, five foot. Is that five foot twelve? <laughs> That's gonna be like six foot, is it not? I've not got a clue. Anyway, five foot eleven, five foot twelve, six foot. Who knows? Three star, three star. Really good pace, decent dribbling. Really good card. That's gonna be expensive. A new American icon. Sad to say that Alex Morgan has retired. Because I was going to say, this has been the type of card that will get really good links to her. I'm hoping we see Alex Morgan back in FC25. She's only just recently announced an retirement. Maybe she's got something in the contract with EA to still like feature her. So we might see her as an hero or an icon. I would presume Alex Morgan gets an icon. Um, we got So we got Julie Forda. So we've got 3-star, 4-star, 5-foot-6, 80-pace, 84 shooting. Okay, pace. Defending, okay. It's got to be worth a shadow for this lady to get that defensive ability up. Um, passing's really nice. Long passing 90, short passing 92, with 92 vision as well. She's going to be really good at the start of the game. Obviously, when cards start to roll in, that are going to be better than her. But... As like a starter card, like as like if you've got a plenty of FIFA points to burn or coins, this card's gonna be incredible for you. I would definitely say that is worth using at the start. Uh, we got a Japanese icon. Uh, I remember the last Japanese icon was uh, Nakata, our Bolton legend. <laughs> uh, I support Bolton if you are new to this channel. So we got Aya Miyama, uh, left mid, ninety rated. Uh, four star, five star can play left mid, centre mid, left wing, short and normal body type with five foot two. Um, decent pace on the ladder. Uh, with really good dribbling at the start of the game, like those sort of stats where you've got ninety one agility, ninety two balance, eighty six reactions. Um, just really well rounded dribbling stats at the start of the game when you're coming up against really like. Not slow defenders, but not really agility defenders. Uh, you know, passing's really good. Um, low strength and addressing is not the greatest, but high stamina is really nice as well. Um, I think this is the last 
Icon. Yes, I believe it is. Nadine Orangera. Now, not a fan of this card. I don't think he's going to be good in game. It's, it's She's five foot nine as a goalkeeper. She's got really good diving reflex stats. Position is fantastic as well, but really low speed off the mark. Um, but it's five foot nine. Um, it, the card could be as as fantastic as it can be with those stats. But the five foot nine, they're gonna get chipped. They're gonna get finessed if those are sort of the meta we're coming out with. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be a discard icon. I'm afraid. I'm not really looking forward to with a packer. Uh, next up, we got Jamie Carragher. Was an icon back in the day. Um, alongside Gary Neville, if you remember him as an icon. 86-rated icon, I think he was as well. Just low pace, good defending, good physical stats, low agility and balance, but we are at the start of the game. Majority of those defenders are going to be like that. Just slow pace. It needs a shadow all day, sadly, to bring that defensive pace up as well. To use this Eden Hazard, even a Hazard RCG would be fun. Um, that unique body type, by the way, could be something absolutely special. If EA really do focus on body types this year, having a unique body type, that's going to be incredible. Obviously, his pre-order is only an 86, and then he gets upgraded to a 90, I believe. Um, Four-star, four-star, left mid, left wing, you know, insane pace, really good dribbling stats. The the guy really trained properly throughout his year, and he was he tore players apart on the field. I'm really looking forward to this card. I hope, I hope, EA don't do him dirty like they do don't do him dirty with you know Gareth Bale. These are just icons of and heroes of the Barclays Premier League. Eden Hazard, please don't do us dirty here. Yeah. Do not do us dirty. Brand new hero. Yap Stamp, well, again, they're all new heroes, but like with Carriger, he was already in the game a few years ago. Um, Yap Stamp is an interesting one. Pro probably people talked of him being an icon, but here yeah, have given him a hero card. Two star, three star, six foot three, great for a centre back. We got defending of 89, fantastic, you know, great defensive awareness for this stage of the game. 85 interceptions. Good pace as well. Dribbling, not so great, but obviously it's a centre-back. What do we expect? Obviously, on a shadow, goes up to 91 pace, 95 defending. That is a fantastic card. He's been given Bruiser Plus as well. Tim Howard is a new one. Uh, 85 rated goalkeeper. Don't know what I'm going to expect from this card. It's nice that we got it. I mean, it's a Premier League icon, uh, hero, so he gets obviously links to the Prem if you want to do like a hybrid. Okay, diving reflex. It just reminds me of Jersey Dude, if I'm being honest. That card was discard for the longest time. This is probably going to go the same way. Sadly, you might have cards like Edison and Allison. That would be better, but it's fun. It's something new. It's something we've not seen from EA yet. Uh, next one up, we got Laura Georges, a five foot eight centre back position. Sadly, doesn't cor anticipate plus is really good, but it doesn't correlate. Sadly, in game, I don't feel again. Five foot eight is really short for a centre back unless we don't have the crossing meta. Then she'll be all right, maybe in a back five, back three. Okay pace, okay defending. Now, a card from many, many years ago, played for Inter Milan, Mr. My Con. Uh, defending really good, great pace. Uh, good passing for a right back as well, with really good physical stats. Six foot as well. Yeah, very good card. Long passing is okay. Short passing is a bit better. For a right back, that's going to be fine for now. Um, watch out and all out walk will probably be better but very good card very nostalgic uh, we have got a Real Madrid legend I believe Guti this card looks good 4 star 3 star can play centre mid and cam tall and lean left footed 6 foot 1 it takes 1 or 2 promo cards for this card to go insane you know 82, 83 pace 90 passing 90 dribbling 80 physical, 88 shooting, 90 shooting. And this card becomes an absolute joke. Like I said, I think EA yeah, are just reining it back, which I'm not against. Um, but it, it just looked to me that EA yeah, are really holding back on, like, player cards just to, like, 
you know, the, because I, pre- I presume EA have already got all the promos and the releases of cards throughout the year now, all ready to go. So cards like this will probably be featured in Icon and Hero promos. But yeah, I'm all for it. Incisive Pass Plus as well. Great for evolutions. I forgot to mention about evils. Could be putting an evil. You never know. Fantastic cards. Unreal. Two more. You just stopped me wittering on then. We have got Farah Williams. Uh, England International. Five foot five centimeter CDM with three star, five star. Five star weak foot's really nice. Um, but it's it's like a card like this. You don't know where you would put her. 80 pace is average. 87 shooting, 87 passing, 85 dribbling is really good. But the defending is low enough that you can't really pop her at CDM. She's only got one 71 defensive awareness, 71 slide tackle, 74 standing tackle. You know, interceptions of 75. You know, maybe a box to box. If you're playing a 4 4 2, maybe have her alongside a stair back while attacking CDM. It looks okay. Five foot five with Fleur plus is an interesting one. <laughs> but going to be another under 100k hero, I believe. And then lastly, we have got the main man, Z Roberto, Brazilian uh, hero in the midfield four. He has got a variety of positions, I've just noticed. I believe he used to play for Bayern, Bayer Leverkusen, I think, and I think a Brazilian club. Was it Corinthians? It probably wasn't. Palomeros? I'm not sure. Anyway, he can play left mid, centre mid, left back and left wing. Five star steel moves really nice. Three star weak foot. He is left footed with five foot eight as well. That's a really nice card. Great pace. Really good dribbling with 93 agility. That's fantastic. Good defending for a left back if you did want to put him there. Physicality of 83. Uh, it's jumping, 93 stamina is fantastic. He's been given technical plus. Yeah, you know, If you have your wing backs, like I said, we don't know with year, but if you have attacking wing backs, him as your left-sided left back, that's going to be a really nice card. With the link said, he could give like the likes of the Lucio just hybrids in the Bundesliga. That card's going to be expensive. But... It's going to be a really good card nonetheless. And that is it. This is the uh, end of the video. For many thanks to Easy SBC. Please make sure you do look at it. You can look at all the new player databases, the likes of Kylian Mbappe, the new heroes and icons that got released. Um, and obviously, the FCQ tactics that will be. I'll probably do a video on that. But basically, guys, this is the FC25 grind is starting. Um... I'll be going through, you know, cheap squad builders. This is a, this is the start. I, I really want to smash YouTube. So if you have got this far, please do drop me a subscription. Drop me a comment. Any comment you want. And I will like, heart, comment, you know, find you, kiss you on the lip sort of thing. And we will go and go for the next video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And yeah, I have enjoyed recording this video too. And yeah, please look out for some more videos in the future. I've got to go. See you soon. Peace.